Welcome to another episode of the Whiskey Entitled, and today we're going to be talking about whiskey glasses, not just any kind of whiskey glasses, but interesting whiskey glasses, as opposed to boring whiskey glasses or just your standard old whiskey glasses. So join us, join me, Sniff, from Scotch and Sniff, and Charles, a.k.a. the Drinking Caveman, for another episode. Really, it's just going to be chat room shenanigans, let's be serious. Ew. Alrighty. So, how are you guys doing today? I know it's a bit weird Monday, but uh, we want to change it up. We want to be different, or no stuff happens. That's why no one will be here today. Eh, it is what it is, right? But um, yeah, so we're gonna be talking about whiskey glasses. Saw so, uh, Wally's post, and we're like, why don't we talk about some of that stuff? Boom. <laughs> I like this time and day. I also like Mondays at eight thirty, or Tuesdays at eight thirty. We'll see. Or any. Any day. Yeah, I know. I saw um, you got uh, what do you call it? Scott and Bart had a live today, which was kind of. Oh weird. wow! Everybody's in there. Yeah. Yes. Okay, it worked. The video worked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, today we're gonna be talking about whiskey glasses. Um, as you guys know, um, we all love our whiskey, but um, having something you know that enhances the experience, I guess you could say, definitely helps out. So um, as this is a drinking what? show, um, Wally, what do you have in your glass, my friend? Whiskey. I have whiskey in my glass. Actually, I'll just show it. Show it. I think I, I think I showed this on the show. So this is a Maryland local distillery, Blackwater. And Blackwater Distilling Finished Barrel Series Bottling Number Six. It's a whiskey, a blend. It's port and sherry finish, and it is, oh, so tasty. Yeah, I don't know why they call it a blend. Is it a teaspoon? Oh, they do source. They do source from other distilleries. Who knew? Yeah. That's yeah, fun. Trick, yeah. I wonder where they get it. From. No, I just wonder where they get it from because it doesn't say, which is. Yeah. Illegal? Huh. Uh, well, you don't have to disclose it. You just have to disclose where you bottle it for, in, right? Don't you, though? Don't well, you? Well, is it scotch or is it whiskey? American whiskey. It just says... It actually... It just says whiskey a blend. Oh, well, there you go. It's a blend. And then I have... That's scary. Anoc 12. That oh, no. um, Wally sent me. Oh, Anak is so good. So, I'm finally cracking into it. So... It's fruity, it's fruity magic. It's good stuff. So I'll once in a while I'll just be like, "Ooh, this is different," and then I'll ask Wally if, he, if I'm supposed to be smelling that. But um, yeah, so today we're gonna talk about whiskey glasses. But first, since we talked about what we had in our glass, did you purchase any bottles this week or last week? Actually, red shirt man, I did, but it's not here yet. It is the Highland Park Thirty, but I will Ooh. showcase it the next time we're on here. Also, that web page is in the way. Ooh. No, but man, so you've got what the Belvini 20, uh, 30 year old, you got the Drua 30, mm -hmm. and then now you're gonna do yep. a Highland Park 30. Jace. Is it just those three, Jace. or are you gonna, you gonna kind of just those three? That's it. I have a Glenfiddich 30, but that's uh, not getting cracked open for gotcha. this. It's just gonna be birthday drams. So, okay. but yeah, no, we had a great episode last week talking about expensive bottles. I think it's one of our most viewed things so far, so that's pretty cool. Why, why are we both wearing red shirts? This is weird. I don't know. We're red oh. shirt Monday. That's now my most expensive bottle, unfortunately. Which one? I can't. I can't see the chat. Oh, my bad. It's covered. His chat's covered. There's a window in the way. Yeah, but like no, um, no forties. No, Shimon, I'm not going forties yet, because those instead of being like six to eight hundred dollars a piece are like four thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, that's so that's for my nuts, man. Nah, for my fortieth, I think I'm just gonna do the number six and call it a day. It's not even age stated, but it's so good. Yeah, no, that's. I don't. Know. I wonder. See, we'll I don't see. even think I would even crack past the 30-year-old mark. I'm like, I've got years know. to go, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so um, sadly, no bottles for me yet. I'm waiting for the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society's release for next month. I've been hearing great things about it, so I'm very excited about that. And I'm waiting for a few bourbon releases. Like, um, So on the Instagram chat, I'm waiting for the Woodford Reserve Master's Collection. It's going to be Barrel Strength this year. So Woodford, yeah. Reserve, Woodford Reserve Barrel Strength would be pretty interesting for me. Um, but besides that, I don't think that would be really interested in anything else the woodford did the masters already right this isn't a new thing no, they did the they masters a, they, with like different yeah they have of. a collection so what last year it was a cherry wood and okay. then the year before that was a brandy cast finish or a cognac finish or something like that just give me the regular woodford? the high santa cruz just give me the regular woodford which is like if you are into uh vanilla caramel aka bourbon. every bourbon yeah. ever but it's really good because I think they have good nutmeggy flavors in it, which brings out like the Christmassy notes, which is like eggnog, which makes me excited all the time. 
Because you either hate eggnog or you love eggnog, and I love eggnog. I don't mind eggnog, but I like this spike a little bit of bourbon. Don't mind it. You're not a fan. Throw it in the trash. Wow. I don't mind. It's like I, I don't go like I want eggnog, but if someone says you want eggnog, I'm like yeah, sure. It's like Pete. You have to love it or hate it. I know. I guess I'm in the we, do, we don't accept. We don't accept the middle no. ground. Oh, okay, fine. I don't like it then. Um, but yeah, so today, um, if you guys didn't notice, uh, Wally posted on his Instagram, Scotch Sniff over there. Um, uh, one of the glasses he got, one of those, I guess it was heavy as hell. I did. I didn't. You know, the funny thing is I didn't grab it just now, but it comes in like a giant box. It comes in a huge box. Yeah, it looked really fancy, inside. dude. I have to admit. Like, that was... Inside the box is another box. box and box. inside of that box, it says luxury awaits on this other cover. And then there are supposed to be two heavy glasses in there, but obviously... You know what the retail cost is? Because, you know, that's kind of fancy. I think it's 27 bucks oh, well, for that's a pair. So it's not horrible, but like I said on Instagram, it's like they're not functional. Yeah. So... Yeah, so um, I, I guess know. that leads into what our functional glasses... So everyone knows and everyone probably here already has a Glencairn. So we have the Scotch and Sniff ones that you can get on sipdark.com. Um, but yeah, no, so we got... These ones, and the reason why this tulip shape, um, the aromas lead to the nose, as you can see, the va the vapors come up, then poof, help you out with nosing. Um, to be honest, any glass. But it's not the only kind of glass. Yeah, that does any it. glass is fine for whiskey, but if you want to enhance your experience, then you can go that way. Is Dude, it... I would have a plastic cup if I had good whiskey. No, I don't care. Honestly, a is vessel, it... any vessel of any kind besides your hands, so you can drink it. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, I drink with my hands. And then, so, which one do you have in your hand? This is a Copita. Like that Copita. Like, Are these the same? Like that one? I, kn I knew I should have grabbed a Master Malt one that and one? not a Single Malt Alliance one. one. I knew it. I bought this to help donate to a needy family. Yeah. Dang it. No, but uh, to be honest, I actually want to lean more towards this than the Glencairn right now. I I'm just a fan of why, stem. Why? Because you're fancy? And you no. You can go I, just like the, I, like, I just like having a stem with it for some rude reason. I don't know why. I guess used to wine glasses? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, then you can hold it and you don't have to have your heat changing the temperature of the glass, but yeah. it's not really a huge deal with the Glencairn. But so... Because with, with the Glencairn, once you grab it, you grab it by the bottom anyway, yeah. so it's... I've seen people, like, grab it like this, which is kind of weird, but to each his own. No, I should have brought a brandy snifter, because that's really what people do with brandy. Yeah. So yeah, so got two, Copita and Glencairn right now. So these two. And they kind of do the same thing, right? Yep. Basically funnel the aromas to, to your us. nose. Right, they funnel the, the hard thing is with your being nose. Asian and, uh, and look like you got punched in the face. It's Scottish. Is that your nose right, is yeah. fat, so you really got to go in there. Uh, oh, there's a solution for that. Oh, I didn't want to talk about this. I didn't want to talk about this until I blogged about it. It's a whole different issue. Okay. So somebody else sent me a glass that's not elixir. It's some kind of company called Denver and Lily. Yeah. They're from Australia. They sent me this. And at first I was like, oh, good marketing hype glass. Copita. Yeah. Copita? No, Copita. I don't do the Copita. So the second one. It's not like two pitas together. It's the first one, Copita. What? Oh, Co that guy's... Pita? Look, Russell Fulmer has Co STDs. Pita. That's a shame. But like, no, the Denver and Lily, I thought that I wouldn't like yep. this. But Asian nose, watch this. It fits. Do you notice something? Beep. It literally fits inside a year. So like, okay, so in a regular Glen Cairn or in a Copita yeah. glass, I say all the time, like it's nice to be able to breathe in at the same time yeah. that you're trying to drink so that you get a better feel for the flavors that way you can like uh well people have nose dominance uh, anyway so no no no. but that way you can retrohale yeah. and you can actually get more of the flavors to come through even through your nose while you're drinking but the denver and lily uh, I, did, I wanted to say this for a blog post is like when you drink it like this it does the exact same thing without having to do the effort of like trying to breathe that way it literally does such yeah. a good idea you broke your single multi alliance copita oh no yeah i've oh, seen no. like three broken already and now you guys need to you guys need to save up fifteen bucks out of the super chat and get yourself a new one. Yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, sorry, Denver Lily. If you have a fat nose, how is this? Lily, how's the sip? Because okay, so the tra perfection. the transition with some of these are very elegant. Some of them are like bam, like you get whiskey in your face. Like, oh my gosh, you want to talk about something with a horrible like sip? That glass you're Let's talk, talk about, about this glass. Let's talk about this glass. What is this? The Norlin. Why is it so expensive? I have no idea. Did I spend fifty dollars to get two of these? Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This thing though, the lip on it is so fat that like you can't. Uh, this is unenjoyable because the lip is and what's so crazy fat. It really is some makes people it a pain are like, oh, it changes the flavor and everything. I'm like, yeah, but how can you sip it? Also, inside they talk about these little like nubby nubs yep. that are supposed to help it like raise the flavor so you can get the aromas in there. But as soon as you 
like pour some in there. What can you do? An eighth of an ounce to get it to actually use the nubby nubs? You pour half an ounce? Yeah, I know. I wasted my money. Thank oh, you, wait. gentlemen. He's not the only sucker. Think about the people that bought the black version of it. Oh, I know. No, when I saw the black one, I was like, I will literally just plastic dip the outside of it so I can make it black. I bought – it comes two in a box. So We can just do the, yeah, no, the this... top thing. We're just spray painting freaking thingamabobies. Yeah, no, that's what he was – no, he did it with uh, – that's – that's Rubber, right? Like plastic yeah, dip. The plastic. same thing I did my car in. So like literally you can just peel it off. But this is literally – garbage so i i'm not saying it's completely garbage someone will enjoy it when they want to drink yeah. whiskey an eighth at a time but for me this doesn't do it like this to me is also the same kind of trick that these people tried who remembers the neat glass they're like oh you get the aromas in the center and you just find the spot that your nose just maybe our noses are just aligns. small it's not maybe, maybe, maybe you have to have a long nose know. they're like oh if you put your put your nose right here you can smell it perfectly, yeah. but this is like literally garbage. I I tried. I'm like, okay, I tried it here. So here, so the here, smell didn't work, here, but I, in my can. head, I'm like, just imagining trying to sip out of that thing. It's gonna go all over your face, and sometimes you want it to go all over your face, you know? I don't know. In a giant, a giant glass, like our big one. Face. But yeah, so that's just a basically tumbler, right? There's nothing special about that one. I just like, yeah, it's just a tumbler. I just like it because it's green, yeah. and it does. It's supposed to like bring it together. But I've thrown some Ardbeg in this, and it's just as terrible. Yeah. And the, it doesn't make the peak go away, so really, I need that and glass. And another gla glass that I think is great for us anyway, but sadly it had a recall, was the bourbon glass. Like, I think it's perfect mm. for that. It kind of funnels things in, especially with bourbon at higher proof. You don't want it to be such a narrow opening, like a Glencairn, because it'll just basically burn your nose hairs. But So you could go a little less narrow? There you go. Like What's so? that one? I haven't said that one before. The Highland Park glass. Is that what it's called? The Highland Park glass? <laughs> no, they just nailed me some for Christmas, and I really like how they're shaped. They have a smaller one that's like a shot glass, but that's like a... it's literally shaped just like that bourbon yeah. glass, but this doesn't break in your hands and cut your children. Yeah, I heard So I heard this one breaks, so if you guys have the beef, be careful. I think uh, when you're cleaning it and you put too much pressure. Wait, who just said Dixie cups? You can't drink whiskey in a Dixie hey, cup you or can. a soda cup? What is this? I mean, you can. Coke, if you want to be that guy. I mean, I hope it's Jack number seven. Because you're wasting your money on that oh, single, dude, single barrel. Jack and Coke, man. College days. College <laughs> days. Not my jam. It's nice glasses. The HP and the shot set. Yeah, Shimon, I have that too. It's nice, right? It's just like this glass and then a smaller version of this glass. And then, but they're shaped really well and they're super heavy on those the Those look good though. I, I really like those ones, man. A little fancy. And too. look at the back of it. It says, "Our Viking code: courage, truth, honor, fidelity, discipline, hospitality, self-reliance, industriousness, perseverance." And the glass is so good; oh. it will change your accent. To something that's trying to be Scottish. Yeah, it'll make you, it'll make you almost Scottish. Scottish. And then it makes me Jamaican. <laughs> Slapping the base. <laughs> and then uh, for me, um, an old classic tumbler. This is a mini tumbler from High West. Love this thing. Heavy base is a key. Dude, that's it. Drinking out of a Ziploc bag. I never thought of that. You just cut a hole in the bottom, and then you literally like just pour it in your mouth, like like uh, like you're frosting a cake. Perfect. Yeah, I do that with pancake better. I also brought a tumbler. Boom. The mine's tiny. Little clear. Mine's clear. See. Look how this is. This thing's. This is perfect for my shit. My hands. Bang. That's all that is. You don't have giant, I don't hands. Have giant hands. Look at the size of my hands. Look at the size. Of, look. This is how big my hands are. This is a Glen Karen. And look at my hands. It looks even bigger in the camera. This is crazy. It makes it look like a mini glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I have a mini Glen Karen. I should have brought that out. Dang it. Dude. A bedpan. Oh I, man, we planned this stuff. I don't. I don't know if I drink whiskey out of a bedpan. Bed no. No. Because I'd get it confused with the bedpan I normally Jason use. Jason got this one? So then? it'd be like, wait, is this is this pee? Or is I'd really have to nose it, you know? And I'd be like, oh, no, that's asparagus. So the, this is the, the wrong, wrong bedpan. Bed bed this is the wrong bedpan. <laughs> that's not the one. <laughs> but yeah, as you notice, the kind of the um, underlying tone here is that trying to get something that can funnel basically smells to your nose. That's kind of where they yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Nothing fancy or anything like that. And you can try with anything. You can even get some wine glasses that are kind of funneling. Some, so. yep. But some of them definitely will do. And to be honest, everyone's gonna try selling the new glass, the brand new thing, like that Norland glass, the Denver and Lively ones, and stuff like that. The Cradle glass. There's a bunch of glass companies out there that are trying to get your money for those. So be careful. Just try to oh figure things gosh. out. You know what do you like? Dude, we need to check that. Look at look at the comments in chat. These are all pro tips. If you put whiskey in a Starbucks travel mug, your coworkers will never know. Hashtag pro tip. Look at this. Taking shots from a hooker's belly works too. But then where are you going to put the Coke? So Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> or we're doing a trip to Vegas? No. Um, 
<laughs> yes, almost anything could be a vessel for whiskeys, but I don't think she would let you sniff her belly button first before you... Oh, well, maybe she would. Oh, strange fact. Everyone's belly button bacteria is actually unique, like a fingerprint. It's disgusting. So now we know what the FBI use all the time. Hunting for those Q-tips. No, they don't... The FBI smelling your belly button. <laughs> you Q-tip your belly button? Got him, man. Can I clean that shit? I, I Q-tip my ears, but... That's what's fuck. I don't Q-tip my belly button. Oh. That's... Mm, mm, you got giant mm, hands, man. You rip mm. your belly button in half. Sin. <laughs> That's true. Money, Maybe. money does talk. But um, oh yeah, with enough money, I would cue to my belly button. Okay. TMI. Um, but yeah. So what do you guys? What what? Okay. So I know you guys are talking about Starbucks travel mugs and all that stuff. But what do you guys really use? Because I'm assuming most of us use a Glen Karen. I think that's kind of the overall consensus on what's the best glass so far. How big is Eric's belly button? I keep spare change in my belly button. You use it like a coin purse? No, no, Damn, it's too bro. close to the other coin purse. That's weird. Damn, what? And if with the, oh, sorry. I'll move on from the belly button. Should I talk about cat anus now? <laughs> what? Yeah, but um, you have any other glasses? I only got four here, so. No, I so I didn't bring the elixir one. I didn't bring out the mini Glen Cairn, which I also have. Um, I have other glasses too, but they didn't. They weren't like so really. What, what's your go-to the then? What's, what what is your go-to? I mean, Glen Cairn. It's the best deal because you're getting something that does everything you need it to do. They cost like. Six dollars, unless you buy them from sipdark.com, where you can buy them with my logo on them for fifteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I mean, like You're normally, yeah, they're you. like six, six to eight bucks, depending on where you buy them. If you buy them in bulk, anyways, I buy too many of yeah. these. But um, yeah. So, no, this is my go-to because I mean, it's perfect for nosing. Mm -hmm. You just grab two of them, then you can nose two side by side, get whatever you need, and you're good to go. So somebody you uh, who Eric just said the Riedel. I would love to try the Riedel whiskey glass, but not for, what is it, $60 for a single glass? Riedel. And I'm sure it works, though. Riedel does their homework and research. Like, that's what they're known for is wine. Oh, really? And the Wooden Glen Cairn, that, uh, Sip Dark has been sending those out to certain influencers to get them to talk about it. It is wax on the inside. I don't know how long that wax, wax is going to last yeah. against things that are, like, at barrel proof. It's just going to start eating it up. And then I'm assuming you'd have to re-wax it. But I don't know. Who gets Riedel's for free? Why aren't you sending me any? What's what, happening? What I don't here? understand is like, when I saw the wooden glass, I'm like, that's cool. But why would you want to, I don't know, for me personally, like how, you know, like you said, you said wax, but like, how do we get those, you know, those scents in there? You don't want to smell wood all the time or you don't want to smell that wax. Yeah. I, I don't know how that would affect the flavor. I just still want to try one. Don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll end up buying one just to try it out because it'd be good for reviews. And weird blog posts about different types of glasses. Um, Habs, um, notification gets sent out if you fo if you're a subscriber, and then you put the notifications on on YouTube. Just FYI. Ooh, ring the bell. Yeah, the little bell. Ring the ding, bell. You will get notifications on that. Sadly, YouTube's um bit, been a bit slow on some notifications. Like for instance, um, I'm subscribed and belled to Scotch Dummies, and I didn't even get a notification that they went live today. So. Yeah, there's been a lot of weird things going on with the notifications. A lot of people have been complaining lately on YouTube. Yeah. A uh, weird side note, not to bring this up, but I'm bringing it up just for Steve. Yeah. It's the Scotch and Time event. <laughs> I finally finished the pictures for it. So Eric has been begging for them for a little while, and I'm kind of lagging behind in some picture editing. But yeah, no, um, there will be some Scotch and Time pictures from the event posted very soon. Hmm. I can't find. What are you, look, what are you looking at online? Oh, you're looking for the specific, the real yeah, whiskey glass? I can't find it. It's like a really specific. Try EY. I tried EY and didn't work. Um, have you tried C? So. Oh, Canadian. I Glen have Karen. the Canadian, Canadian Glen Karen. It, it, it looks, looks just like the just cradle like glass. Just like the bourbon. It looks yeah. like the cradle glass. Oh, the the cradle glass is another one I want to try because that lady is always posting pictures of cradle and whatever. No, and I'm always like, man, is, that, is she wearing is a shirt? It? Single malt whiskey. There you go. The sommelier glass. So that's it. Damn, that's weird. Yeah, that's it. How much is it? Uh, so we're looking right now on it doesn't say here. Oh, it doesn't say. I I, I want to say they were like sixty bucks. It was something crazy because I was like, I'm not buying that. Oh, it's for businesses only, so you have to own now. So right now what? we're just showing you guys this. This is the uh, single malt whiskey sommeliers, the Riedel glass, just FYI, covering Wally's face right now. But yeah, so um, looking through the comments, another glass review. What have I missed? 
Nope, just uh, a glass review of um, what we feel as though, like with uh, Wally posting today, we thought it was a great exp uh, great time to kind of just talk to people. I understand that you guys are advanced oh. when it comes to these things, but what's up, Amazon? Yeah, I'm going to order one on Amazon. This will make life oh. easier. Then we don't have to talk and about Eric it anymore. Eric Gilbert says it sucks. Never mind, I'm not going to order one on Amazon because $73 seems a little oh, steep. For one? Yeah. Oh, that... Two two for $115. Oh, that's a kick in the ads. Shit. Six for one thirty two. How much are they really worth? Uh, and I bet it's glass. Oh, there's a crystal. Leaded crystal. Uh, oh, one day for one thirty. Send out no. I show. Show nobody's mentioned drinking out of the bottle. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, what? What are you doing to the chat? Why is it going backwards? Oh, I'm trying to figure out if we missed anything. No, I have not watched yeah. the angel share, and I have also not watched the neat, um, what do you call it, movie yet either. Oh, I have. I watched the neat really? movie. Is it good? I, yeah, I went to a friend's house. I brought over like six bottles of whiskey and we watched it. Wow. It's uh, it's it's well filmed. It's not as informative as I as I hoped. It is informative, but it's not like uh, you could probably get the same kind of information if you just went to the distilleries yourself. Uh -huh. But um, it was it was really really well filmed. It was yeah. If you're into 4K, it will oh, really? tickle your 4K That's bones. Good. Yeah. Um, uh, whiskey throttle. No, I have not watched your live video yet. Um, uh, I've. Whiskey Throttle? Yeah, he, he made um, a live on, I think it was Sunday. What kind of live video? Uh, just talking about Compass Box. So it might be something you're interested in. I watched like the first five that. minutes when you guys were adjusting the camera and then I had to stop. So. Cognac glass. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I haven't used a cognac glass for much. Any of you guys have any glasses that you guys swear by a change to flavor? Because I know that for people with an oral and glass, that's what they say. Yes, needs a documentary. It's on uh, Netflix. It's about bourbon and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's got a bunch of... We should make a mockumentary. Dude, that'd be pretty cool. We should make a mockumentary called Dirty. It'll be just like neat, but dirtier. So it'd be people putting Coke in their very expensive whiskey? <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> oh, right. Wrong kind of yeah. Coke. Sorry, I was still in Vegas. <laughs> what is his thoughts on Writer's Tears? Oh, it's one I haven't found. I've looked around for it. That's an Irish one, isn't it? Writer's Tears? I'm not sure. I've just seen the bottle pictures I see online. Bottle pictures I think they'll... Think about me. The only newest one that I wanted to really find that anybody's talked about that I thought was any good was Annie Taplin. I don't know if you guys are friends with her from William Grant and Sons. Nope. She posted a picture of, what is this called? The Anasac Reserve, An the, the which is made up reserve? of 20, yeah. Anasac Reserve. It's made of 20 to 40 year old blend from a bunch of William Grant and Sons, like old archive so stuff. And they just threw it so all basically together. stuff they couldn't sell, blended together. It sounds amazing. Habs, no, this isn't a new time slot. I think Charles yeah, I got, uh, work was stuff, struggling so... with drug addiction, yeah. so he can't do it on Tuesday tomorrow. Yeah, Tuesday is my uh, <laughs> shot in the arm there. Yeah. Um, no, um, but it could be. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? I don't know if Mondays or Tuesdays work. We always thought Tuesdays because it was easier because we wanted Wednesday, but Monday seems to be when everyone releases their uh, podcasts, and then Friday seems uh, – Whiskey Wednesday is, seems like everyone does their posts, so Tuesday was the better. Yes, Eric. You think so? Yeah, dude. Like every Monday, you get a new podcast. Every Wednesday, you get a new post from YouTubers because it's Whiskey Wednesday. I mean, like there's four hmm, or five YouTubers that pop out on that day. I never thought about that. So Tuesday was the best day for us because we didn't want to conflict with any of those guys. Too much whiskey news. People kind of get, you know, annoyed. That's funny. I always post the Scotch and Sniff videos on Fridays. Fridays is good. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I always thought Fridays was a good day because you're not doing anything at work at 9 o'clock in the morning on a Friday, so might as well watch a video. Uh, you're on a different Friday. Shit, everything gets destroyed on Fridays. Charles is addicted to chewable oh my gosh, mul vitamins. Multi yeah, I hope you're not addicted to chewable Flintstones vitamins because they have so much iron in them, they actually can kill children. Not uh, Flintstone vitamins, but uh, the multivitamins, yes. I love that shit. Wait, the multivitamin gummies from Costco? Because yes. I eat those things like That's candy. Awesome. It's they are like candy. you're supposed to have two a day, and I'm like, I'm having six. I need to be healthy. I need to have ten. What are you talking about? Oh, is that yeah. how it works? Oh, I'm getting sick. <laughs> Overload. That's what I do with my <laughs> Yeah. But um, yeah, so any other questions, guys? I know this is kind of like a, a shorter topic, but it's talking about glasses, but we thought it'd be um, beneficial to people that are coming in. Um, I've noticed a lot more people of kind of tuning in now. So. It is a shorter topic, but I have a weird question to ask you guys. Can I ask a question that's not related to the show for another show, just in case there's another show that's going to be coming is out soon? There's going to be another show coming out soon by Wally. So, uh, do you guys have any questions that you would like to ask brand ambassadors that you don't normally ask whiskey people? I'm only asking because there's going to be a brand ambassador at my house next Are week, you single? the week do you after, get hit whatever. All the time? Do you have to deal with drunk people all the time? By brand ambassadors? 
No, ask the. Mm. I bet you. I wonder oh, if they, are these the questions that you? Yeah, I would ask them. No, this brand ambassador is not single. She's married. Okay. I know for sure. And anyways, they're they're gonna be at my house, and I was gonna ask a bunch of questions, and I was gonna do a couple of videos, scotch and videos with them. But if you guys have any weird questions, I'd like to hear about so, them. So, for me personally, I'm I'm just talking for myself, right? I always feel that when you hear a brand ambassador, you got to take it with a grain of salt because they are basically salespeople, right? Trying to sell you a product. Yeah. The hard part is like when you talk to them, especially like when in a YouTube setting or something, they're representing the brand and themselves, right? So sometimes mm. like I would love, uh, okay. I already got prior approval for this person to talk about other things that are not their brand, awesome. which is really nice. So yeah, so that would be the key thing is like what besides whatever their brand is, what they're gonna, what they like. And Eric, if you DM me on Instagram, we can talk about that privately. I may have already asked questions like that before. It's a million dollars. It's not, but I wouldn't throw their business out there either. It's not as yeah. That's the correct answer. Not that much. But um, uh, with not as not as much as you think. Good perks, yeah. but but um, yeah. So I mean, the same thing that I, I noticed. Like you got to you got to take it with a grain of salt. They're they're here to sell a product, but I would love that since I don't, I think I know who this brand ambassador is, but out of if you could cut out their line of whiskeys, what their number one go to would be pretty cool to know, or just like what's other people interested in that you wish you could be like. Let's say if it's the McAllen ambassador, right? Be like. Besides McAllen, you know, what brand are you jealous oh, of, a, you know, besides yourself? Like, yeah. What are you jealous of that you wish you came up with? Like are big with like their, um, their commercials or you got, um, <laughs> Not no. Michter's with their local presence in that area. That kind of like, what are you jealous about? That, I think it'd be pretty cool. But, I've, Cause I've asked, no, I, so I have a couple of interviews coming out with some Edgington ambassadors, one from McAllen and one from Edgington. Yeah. And in there, I always ask the question when I do interviews, uh, like, what's your favorite non whatever your brand is whiskey to drink? And they're always honest about it. Wait, wait, wait. Scott's gluten free? Damn. No, not he's not. Tonight. There's no way. He's yeah, like, that's what he said. He's he's not said he says, I usually eat gluten free. So Jason Fisk asked about the tailored milestone glasses. I just looked those up. Those look exactly like the cradle or the bourbon glass. They look, I mean, they look just like a cradle glass. All right. To be honest, a lot of the companies are just trying to find a wider base because I, I think, dude, that's a stubby freaking Glencairn. That's what it looks like. You just so I mean I I don't know I'm not impressed by this I wouldn't buy it. Oh, I kind of want pizza right now too. Shit. I don't want pizza. I had Nando Berry Berries, so this whiskey actually tastes kind of spicy. Yeah, I know we're going <laughs> off topic now, but dude, your barbecue post from this weekend, I'm so jealous, man. How okay. That shit? Look. Here's the thing. I've been trying to do so every Thursday. I've been going with friends, and we were we're trying to go to like the top. This is not even whiskey related. We're trying to go to the top five, yep. uh, top 10 barbecue places in DC. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. If any of you guys are ever in DC, let's go to Federalist Pig in Adams Morgan right down the street from Jack Rose because their barbecue, uh, it's incredible. Like their pork belly is incredible. Their ribs are incredible. Everything's great. Like you go to most barbecue places and you're like, the macaroni and cheese was amazing and the rest was okay. This place is like the macaroni and cheese almost sucks and the rest is baller. Their chicken wings, incredible. Dude, I get like oh, chocolate with so this. So is it just me? Which one? Yeah. The Anik? Mm, Weird. No, Jason Voorhees, Korean barbecue, you know, because I'm Korean. So I, I have to love Korean barbecue. You know how it is. <laughs> Korean barbecue, I'm going to like, if you're in Ellicott City in Maryland, you go to Chinchon, which is awesome. You get a bonchon if you got nothing better to do, but you know. There's a bit of spice so, too. How it is? The anak. Yeah. It should be super fruit. It's incredibly fruity. It's really good. Huh. But like I said, I can't taste anything right now because Nando Peri Peri's. Nah, but uh, glass companies are trying to reinvent the. Yeah, of course they are, man. They need. Dude, yes. if you knew how many They're freaking things. They're trying to reinvent things... the six dollar yeah, oil. Dude, this, if you can get like maybe oh. one fourth of the pie of what Glen Karen is doing right now, you make money. Scott, you love buffalo wings. Dude, you need to try these smoked wings when you come here. It is incredible. It's like it's better than buffalo. I can't I can't explain it. It's just amazing wings. They they're smoked to perfection. They're crispy. Oh. Dude, Eric, wait, man, with his Spanish rice and chicken dish and all these wines, man. Oh. I don't go to Koreatown NYC often enough to be able to say what my favorite is. I have gone to New York just to go to Hill Country and that's some good barbecue. Oh, that's like there's, my thirtieth birthday. A, there's that's a really a good barbecue, barbecue place um in San Diego, for the one with the lines and stuff. That was pretty good. I forgot what it was called, though. And then... As soon as this is over, I'm doing a video review of the 2014 Descendientes de Jose Palacios Petalos Bierzo do Spain. Wine. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, have you guys gone to Dinosaur? Um, Dinosaur? Dinosaur in New York City, dude. Some of the best barbecue I've ever had. Oh, no. Dude, it's so good. Shimon should know if he's still here. Oh, my gosh. This isn't even a whiskey show. This is a friggin' Food, barbecue show. Barbecue I'm so show. hungry right oh, now. Dude. I'm so... <laughs> This is what we do, oh guys. Gosh. Uh, but yeah, if let us know if this time works out. I think me and Wally are pretty good at this time too. So let us know. We're still gonna go back to Tuesday next week. So, wow, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just making faces. Oh. Tuesday, I like. Okay. Tuesday, I like. I'm biased though. Very, 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 very. No choice because I have to. Uh, okay. You don't have a choice. It sucks for me. Sorry, bud. Whiskey. Yes. Whiskey's gluten yes, free. I have a bottle cap. There's no bread in whiskey. And again, guys, uh, please feel free to. Um, Donate to our Patreon. Thank you, our Patreons right there. Scotch Just Dummies, Whiskey Thardle, and Anonymous. Thank you guys so much for joining in our live as well. Um, we're going to be investing in the channel. Trying to get some webcams. I'm trying to find it. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> I want to get more webcams to send out to people so we can do interviews with people like you. Um, we'd love to do that. When did you decide you needed a special glass to drink whiskey? This is going to be a different answer for each of us. But for oh. me personally, the first time that I tried a Glencairn and notice the difference in flavors, I was much more interested in whiskey. But trying all the other kinds of glasses has taught me that most glasses don't do a better job. They just do a different job. I think for me, it was about three years ago when I decided, because I was drinking it basically out of a tumbler, just because like, that's how everyone was drinking it. And then um, I saw it online. I'm, so a few people were talking about it. And then I purchased one. And then it, it definitely changed just because of the, the smell and the aromas. You definitely get a different if you do a side by side. And to be honest, it's an easy experiment to do. Just put two of the same whiskeys in there, nose them side by side. It does change it. So Correct. Three ounces in each glass and just go to town. Yeah. See which one tastes better. Yeah. By the end of each Santa Cruz and these things, man. So we're going to be um, investing in the channel, basically purchasing some of these, sending them out to people like you guys to kind of interview and talk to you guys about, add you guys to the show. You guys have been amazing in the chat right now. And we just love that. Our show would basically be a five-minute show without you guys. So... Thank you guys so much for joining. Oh my gosh. You got Glen Cairns after you watched Ralphie. Like Ralphie is what inspired me to start a whiskey channel. Really? I wish I was joking, but like there's huh. a re yeah, there's a reason why all Scotch and Sip videos minus one have been under 15 minutes or less, most of them under 10 minutes. And that's the reason that I started the one minute whiskeys is because like, yes, you can watch Ralphie get drunk all day long, but a 45 minute video to have him tell you three things about a whiskey that you could have just like summed up in five minutes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's painful sometimes. I mean, not just cause I'm watching an alcoholic go down a dark hole but, <laughs> but because sometimes you just want a little information oh, about that's the whiskey flavors and that's why you did like the scotch net videos and then the one minute whiskeys right that... yeah it's because scotch net videos are good and they're educational and they teach you stuff in you know in 10 minutes yeah. but i was really like what if you're out shopping and you really, really want a quick review just like okay tell me in one minute what this is about so i can figure out am i going to spend 50 dollars at this place or am i not and sadly those one minute videos mm -hmm. and videos like them, love. um they don't get as many views and they don't just because of the watch time and the promotions so that it kind of, of sucks. But to be honest, I think those are the most, cause a lot of the times I'll search whatever bottle I'm looking on a shelf and I'll scrub through that video and trying to figure out when they talk about the, Oh, it tastes like this and this. And I'm like, okay, does it sound like me? Yes or no. So. Malted in Montreal. Did Pete lovers really inspire you to start a channel? I just want you to know that I wasn't part of your inspiration. then. <laughs> and then, uh, did you choose the Glen Karen made nose and glass or, on your own or was it suggested mine was never suggested i just saw it so oh i saw a bunch in the store yeah and i just wanted to try them and then i found that you could customize them and then i bought lots yeah yeah you did buy a lot like yeah like a hundred but yeah so like a, if you guys want to talk about a hundred to give away um videos mine's basically on the side so if, if you guys want to set up video or something like that i can i can show you guys both of us have pretty much similar setups so and then i did change my background a little bit and you're doing your background soon so Black art's so good. Wait, which black art? 5 1 or 4 1 or 3 1? Or... Styrofoam. Because the 5 1 tastes like. In a styrofoam black cup, though? For you. I think that would release some flavors. <laughs> I'm going to ruin black art for you. Listen to me. It tastes like Jolly Ranchers. And then your mind just blows. You're welcome. You're welcome. Don't need to start a channel. You... All right, guys. Sometimes, sometimes you need to start a channel because you got some other different perspective, yeah. something else going on. The reason why we started, yeah, five, the reason one, why we started this is just because back then not many people were doing these live chat stuff. So we don't really go too into the whiskey tastings, you know, unless Wally kind of sees some comments and stuff. We just talk about everyday stuff about whiskey. So I'm just trying to inform you guys and 
To be honest, we're just sitting here because we're lonely guys wanting to chat to people. What? Speak for yourself. I'm a lonely, I got work to I'm do. I'm a lonely guy. You have so much work. To people. You have a wife and a child. I'm a lonely guy <laughs> with a wife and a child that I only talk to. To answer Buzario, yes, you can order these. There are two ways to order them. You can order them from siptark.com slash products slash scotch and sniff. Or you could illegally go online, steal my logo, and then go to, I think it's like custom Glen Cairn glasses or something and have the guy print them for the same but, price. Um, yeah, link, link's Just, in the bio. So you'll see a link there. You click it and it'll take you straight there and you can, he gets a bit of it. So you'll help sniff out and um, can support him and take Instagram. Photos. Believe me, if I had it my way, I would take even less of a cut. I'm actually taking less than all the other people that sell on Sip Dark. But if it was my way, I would just sell them for what I paid for them. But I can't afford shipping for yeah. that. So I would literally like sell them for Shipping's a piece, pain in the butt, guys, to be honest. Shipping's expensive. Yeah. I don't know how Amazon does it. Well, I kind of do yeah, structure and stuff. But yeah. Um, yeah. Any other questions, man? Or are we going to close it for today? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're running late. Late? No, we're running long. If it wasn't for my sock puppet, I'd be lonely too. That's um, it's too much information. Yeah. Wow. We bring the best out of people. And by the way, I if know, you guys didn't I... know, Monday was red shirt day, so uh, shame on so you. Get on that. You should be red. Get on our level. Yeah. Get on our level. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so Wally, uh, oh yeah, we got to take photo. Oh, I was already ready already. Oh man, I'm like, how do I? Cook? Wait, no. This... What? Which way? Which way? What? Okay, that should be good enough. Or not? Alrighty. Not. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I know, apologies again, Monday, um, a different time. We apologize, but... Um, a sock puppet is... If a sock puppet is too much work, dude, you <laughs> you need to buy some better socks. <laughs> and on that note, we're off. What are we going to say, Wally? Deuces, sock guys. Sock puppet!